As the Omicron variant sweeps the country, there is a shortage of rapid COVID tests and scammers are taking advantage. CBS 58's Bill Wall shows you what to watch out for and how to get a test without waiting in line. We've all seen the lines for a COVID test. Lines so long that police have to patrol them to make sure no one cuts and everyone stays safe. And I know that there have been some threats of violence. These lines are not exclusive to the Milwaukee area, nor are the shortages of at-home tests. We're seeing them across the country. And when scammers see a shortage, they also see an opportunity. And we all know scammers have been very active during the whole COVID era. Jim Temmer, president of the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin, wants you to watch out for a new scam. We haven't heard about this in Wisconsin yet, but it's definitely happening around the country. So probably just a matter of time before this scam does get here, and it likely starts with a robocall or a text or an email offering a free or fast COVID test. But there is a catch. But they're going to say we need a credit card for shipping or we need your social security number and your birth date so we can bill the government or Medicare, your health insurance, whatever it is. In this case, the scammer now has your personal information or your credit card number. In a different version of the scam, you get charged and in return, you get a bogus test. Either you're not going to get a test kit or maybe even worse, you're going to get one that isn't FDA approved. Both the FDA and FBI are out with warnings about those fake tests. Temer says this scam is working because it plays off people's fear. Scammers succeed when people are emotional, they're anxious, they're upset. Thankfully, local leaders say they are addressing the need for more rapid tests. They also expect demand to go down. Um, some places have longer lines than others, obviously, um, but we have transition staff um, to support the testing. And in addition, we are working with a private lab. Hopefully they can come on board by the end of this week to open an, a handful of other sites in the city. Everyone who lives in the state of Wisconsin is eligible for a free at-home COVID saliva test. Now, I sent for mine on Tuesday of last week, and it isn't going to get here until Tuesday of this week at the earliest. So it isn't fast, but it is accurate, and it is free. Might want to send for yours now so you have one when you need it. And I'll put a link to do just that in this story on our website. Reporting from the Home Office in Milwaukee, I'm Bill Walsh, CBS 58 News.